Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 14th. We're almost at the dead middle of September already. My goodness, where does the time go? <laughs> well, September 14th is the 257th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 258th in leap years with 108 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is locum tenens. Locum tenens comes to us from Latin and it means a temporary deputy or stand-in, literally one holding a place. This term is most often used in reference to clergymen or physicians. For example, a locum tenens physician is a physician who works in the place of a regular physician when that physician is absent or when a hospital or practice is short-staffed. I've been acquainted with people who that's what they did, the locum tenens doctors. And, uh, you know, it sounded kind of interesting, but certainly not for me. Well, first of all, I'm not a doctor, but. <laughs> but six weeks here, eight weeks there. And um, you could think of it sort of like, I mean, the term locum tenens would even actually apply to a substitute teacher, <laughs> but we call them substitute teachers instead. <sighs> Did you know that's the difference between a sip and a gulp? After a sip, you don't go, ah. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. You can do that with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. And there's also now a link in the show notes to the Day in History playlist where you can see all of them if you want to. Or if you're on Vimeo, just click the continue button and it'll play one after another <laughs> for as long as you can stand it. <laughs> anyway, uh, for YouTube, I will put the playlist link right up in that corner. I know it goes right up there. <laughs> and with that, we're going to start in the year 81 AD when Domitian became the emperor of the Roman Empire upon the death of his brother Titus. On September 14, 1682, the Bishop Gore School was founded in Wales. It still exists, too. Established as a grammar school 338 years ago, it was an all-boys school until 1970, when it integrated with a local girls' grammar school and another local secondary school to become the Bishop Gore Coeducational Comprehensive School. People aged 11 to 18 attend there, and what in the, in the U.S. we would call junior high and high school, 7th through 12th grades. George Frederick Handel completed his Oratorio Messiah on September 14, 1741. The British Empire adopted the Gregorian calendar on September 14, 1750. In the process, they skipped 11 days as the previous day had been September the 2nd. <laughs> I guess I sort of did that with my videos, more or less. <clears throat> anyway, we thought daylight saving time was <laughs> confusing. <laughs> ah. Today's war mentions include battles in the days of the Roman Empire, of course, as always, because that's part of what they did. You had your Irish versus Vikings in the year 919, a battle in Japan in 1180, England versus Scotland in 1402, Native Americans versus British forces in the early days of America. You got your American Revolutionary War, uh, Russians versus Swedes in 1808, the Napoleonic Wars in 1812, the American Civil War, and several notes about World War II on this day in history. What a contentious lot we are. Mm -hmm. On September 14, 1829, the Ottoman Empire signed the Treaty of Adrianople with Russia, ending the Russo-Turkish War. 
President William McKinley died after being mortally wounded on September 6th by the deranged anarchist Leon Zolgos, spelled C-Z-O-L-G-O-S-Z, -Z -O -O -Z, Leon Zolgos. Vice President Theodore Roosevelt then stepped up to take the presidency. On September 14, 1917, the Russian Empire was formally replaced by the Russian Republic. In a top secret nuclear test, a Soviet bomber dropped a 40 kiloton atomic weapon north of Totskoy village on September 4th, 1954. Meanwhile, on the other side of the planet, this is the birthday of American singer, songwriter, keyboard player, and producer, Barry Cowsell, born September 14th, 1954. He was a member of the musical group, The Cowsells, and I have an idea that one might need to be in a fairly tight age bracket to uh, recognize that name. <laughs> the, I, I, I might be mistaken about that, but uh, they were popular when my cohort was of a certain age. They were a group of six siblings who performed in genre of bubblegum, pop, psychedelic pop, and rock and roll beginning in 1965 and into the early 70s. They had a few hits, and I've included a link to a video of their performance of Hair in the show notes. They stopped playing together in 1972, reunited as a band in the late 70s for a couple of years. Barry and his sister Susan were living in New Orleans when Hurricane Katrina approached. Susan and her husband evacuated the city, but Barry thought he could ride it out. Unfortunately, he did not survive Katrina. New Orleans as a city was so devastated by Hurricane Katrina that they didn't even find his body until the following January. It's believed he died of drowning somewhere around the end of August or early September, Mo most likely early September because he had called and left messages on his sister's voicemail September 2nd. So it was either that day or shortly de thereafter that he passed away. And that was in September of 2005, so he passed away at the age of 50. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, better known as OPEC, was founded on September 14, 1960. This is the birthday of American businesswoman, Wendy Thomas, born September 14, 1961. She's the daughter of Dave Thomas, who was the founder of the fast food brand Wendy's. She turns 59 in 2020. Elizabeth Ann Seton was canonized by Pope Paul VI on September 4th, 1975. This is the birthday of English singer-songwriter Amy Winehouse, born September 14th, 1983. Oh baby, she could belt out a song. <laughs> Love that great big crazy hair she had too. But she couldn't leave that booze alone and died of alcohol poisoning in 2011 at the tender age of 27. Penang Bridge, the longest bridge in Malaysia, connecting the island of Penang to the mainland, was open to traffic on September 14, 1985. Major League Baseball season was canceled on September 4, 1994 because of a strike, which reminds me of someone I used to know who had a comment about that that involves words that I would rather not say on this show, but uh, he referred to them as blankety blank millionaire crybabies. Yowza, on September 14, 1998, MCI Communications and WorldCom completed a $37 billion merger to form MCI WorldCom. That's billion with the B. That's a lot of, that's a lot of dollars. Microsoft released Windows Me on September 14, 2000. And I think that's gonna do it for us today. Hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did, I always do. Even though we're coming around to the part where I've actually done this day in history for this day last year, I'm doing it again. 
and uh, I learned something new anyway. Anyway, as always, links to my research are included in the show notes, and I uh, want to remind you that if you enjoy this series, check out the playlist up in the iCards. If you're on Vimeo, just look for the link down in the show notes. And um, I guess that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. Remember that I have another channel, 8 Susquehanna, where I showcase the jewelry and accessory pieces that I hand make. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, we're going to trim that. <laughs> Let's read that again. <laughs> okay, we'll read that one again, too. <laughs> I'm getting a reminder that something I'm interested in is coming up soon, and but I'm going to finish this first. Let's read that last one one more time. September 14th, 2000. There's a heavy truck rumbling by. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all well that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. Now, that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>